everyone, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this sweet little card here that you can see on the screen. I'm starting off with a top folding A2 size card base here, and I'm going to be using the beautiful Modern Spring 6x6 paper pad. I love this paper so much, and I chose these two pieces here to use for my project. I'm going to trim out some of the uh, size off of this paper so that it's going to fit onto my card front. I'm going to be doing a little bit of patterned paper layering for a card base today and I know lots of us have six by six paper pads in our stash and it's really good to break those out and use them. They do provide a really pretty background for your project. So I'm just trimming off a bit of these papers so that they will just fit onto my card front nicely here. You can see that I've sized down this uh, patterned one here in kind of that coral color and this beautiful tool paper with the sage green. I just love this so much. I think it's probably my favorite from the paper pad. I think the color scheme in the modern spring paper pad is just perfect. Really love it so much. So you can see that I've sized the paper down just so that there's about a quarter of an inch white margin all the way around the outside edge of my card. I'm going to overlap the papers just slightly here and so that the top paper is just a little bit wider than the bottom. I'm going to adhere these onto my white card base here with a little bit of repositionable tape runner. I'll just add that to the top and the sides. I'm just going to leave that bottom section open there and I'm just going to adhere this on and then I will do the same thing for that tulip paper and add that onto my card front here. I'm just going to slide that underneath where I left the adhesive off that top piece there and just overlap them in that way. I just wanted to make sure that I um, have these lined up so that they're nice and straight. Now I'm going to cut a little strip of this paper from the paper pad as well to create a little bit of a banner for the area where the two papers meet. So I've just cut that strip. It's about a quarter of an inch and I'm going to just do a banner end on each one of the ends of that paper. So I'm going to actually just take a pencil and mark where I want that length to be. I'll trim that out and now what I'll do is I'll take my cutter B scissors. I'm just going to cut in in the center of that strip and then I'll just cut up to that um, center area there by going in from the corner to the center with my cutter B scissors here. Really nice to do this with a really sharp fine tipped pair of scissors. I'll do that with both ends and that's just going to create this really nice little banner strip that's going to go over top of that area where the two papers join just to create a little bit of a nice finish on that joined area there. And then it also brings in this contrasting paper. I love this paper from the paper pad as well. And it's just more of a solid, like I said, it just provides a bit of a contrast from the other two papers, but coordinates nicely since it's in the same color family as that sage green on the tulip paper. This is the Sweet Spring Mice stamp set. I love this so much. I think it's so adorable. These sweet little whimsical mice are just the best and they are accompanied by tons of florals. There's even a strawberry in this set as well. There's also a coordinating die set of course and I'm going to be using that and my intense black ink to stamp out some images for my project. So I've got those all stamped out. I'm going to do a little bit of Copic coloring here. Really really simple. What I like to do is go in with a lighter shade and then add in my shadows and blend that color out. Really really super simple. Like I said I wanted to do my little mice in some warm gray tones and add in a little bit of a corally pink for the little pink areas of the ears and the cheeks on these this adorable little mouse. I'm actually only going to use one of these mice on my card. Um, I did color both and I will set that one little mouse aside that I don't end up using for this project but I did want to just stamp and color a few pieces here so that I had lots of options when it go comes to putting the card together. So you can just see I'm using E01 as my pink. Again it's just a really nice sort of like peachy tone of pink. Goes nicely with the colors uh, that corally pink color that's in the patterned paper. 
and I'm just using really really light tones here nothing really super dark I wanted uh, just you know a little bit of a more of a lighter image I tend to go a little light-handed with my coloring when I'm using my Copic markers and I like to just keep it really really super simple um, I like to color with my Copics I do enjoy it but I don't fancy myself to be any sort of amazing Copic colorist so I do like to just keep it really super simple you can just see here I'm adding a few little shadows in with a medium tone and then going in with a lighter tone and blending that out I did want to use a little bit of the gray over top of the pink in the ears just to show that the ears are mostly gray but there's a little bit of that peachy pink tone in there as well now I always also wanted to color up my flowers with some peach as well and so that I could have left these white like they're daisies but I kind of wanted to add some color into the flowers as well so I just went with a little bit of peach leaving the centers open for some gems and here you can just see I'm adding a little bit of sage green to the leaves now the coordinating dies are super easy to use they're very easy to line up, line up you will find that with basically all of the honeybee dies they do um, a really great job honeybee does of uh, coordinating their dyes so well and they are super easy to use and I love that there's dyes for all of these images and I can just get these all um, die cut out and ready to embellish my cards so I'm just taking the time to line those up I'm getting my tape on there now the fun is going to really happen because I'm going to show you the brand new Biddy Buzz Cutter. This is a really fantastic little die cutting machine. It is super handy. You can see how great this just fits onto my desk. I did cut the little um, stamped images here in half so that I could fit them through my buzz cutter and you can just see here how easy this is to use on my desk and I will just show you how it folds up. I'm going to just show you here how this is so super compact it just folds up and it also has these really great little feet on the bottom of it so that it does not move on your mat I like to work on a glass mat and you can just see how that just hugs the mat and it just works super super well so I love that you can actually pre-order that right now on the honeybee website um, and those will hopefully be arriving soon in the shop so that you can pick yours up and that's a really great option for die cutting this is the Biddy Buzzword stamp set and there is a coordinating die set as well. I'm going to be using the um, Happy Birthday from that. I'm going to be using a Honeybee Blending Brush and I'm also going to be using an ink stand for my ink um, my ink pad you can just see I have my ink pad in the ink stand and it's not moving as I'm picking up that ink I'm just blending some salt water taffy over my white cardstock now I am going to go ahead and die cut out the word birthday for my sentiment again I'm going to use my bitty buzz cutter for this purpose and so I'm just going to run that through the little um, cutter does come with little instructions but there's really not much to it and it's super super easy to use not complicated at all now here you can just see this intricate die is cut wonderfully with that uh, die cutting machine I really think it does an amazing job and I'm just going to painstakingly pull that out and I will retain the dot over the eye as well I've cut it out three times once from the saltwater taffy and twice just from white I'm going to layer those all together with my honeybee stamps liquid glue tube and you can just see here I've just put a little bit of the glue on my glass mat I'll just pick that up with my finger and dab it onto the cardstock and then I'll just adhere these layers together this works super well for creating a dimensional sentiment in that way and I'm just going to go ahead and add this on and then I will also add the pink saltwater taffy piece over top in the same way so once I'm finished with putting that onto the base here I will go ahead and get this ready to go for putting on to the outline or the base layer for this sentiment piece here so I'm just going to finish up with that <clears throat> make sure that it's all kind of sitting evenly on the bottom piece there and now I'll die cut out the outline or the base piece for the sentiment so I'm once again going to put this in my bitty buzz cutter I'm just going to go ahead and crank that through super easy works so well I love it 
And it's so tiny and it just fits perfectly on my desk. It's just the best. I love it. So here you can just see I'm taking that off of the plates and just going to pop that out. And this outline will be perfect for the little uh, birthday word here, sentiment for my project. I'm going to get that adhered on there with my Honeybee Stamps liquid glue again. I'm going to just put it on the back here of the piece and then I will use my tweezers to place that onto the outline. And I love how that pink looks, the saltwater taffy looks so nice on the white and that color of ink just coordinates beautifully with the modern spring paper pad. So really love how that works. I'm going to just go ahead and take the little dot and add that over the eye. Now I did cut this a couple of times, so I do layer that up. I think I only layered that twice. I'm using my Marvie Jewel Picker here to put that together. Now I'm ready to start to assemble the card. I'm going to add the banner with a little bit of foam tape. I'm going to add that onto that area where the two pieces of pattern paper meet there. I'm just going to add that onto my project with my tweezers. I like how this little banner just kind of also is a logical place to put my little mouse so that he has a little ledge to stand on. Here you can see I've also stamped out the word happy and I've also created a little white rectangle here from the spring leaves co uh, cover plate, Pierce cover plate. So you can just see here I'm going to add that on behind my mouse so that the mouse pops up a little bit more and off of the, the, the patterned paper. And I'm going to add that onto the card with a little bit of foam adhesive just to give that a little bit of dimension. And then I'll just start to add these little floral pieces, which I have all die cut out as well. Just adding a little bit of foam adhesive here and there as well to create a bit more dimension. And I'm just kind of popping up the edge of that flower and just going to do the same with this other little stem here as well. I love the little florals that are part of this stamp set. I think they're super cute and you could use those on so many different projects. Obviously not just with the spring mice, but with other, other sets. You can coordinate this with other sets that you have in your stash as well. So super cute. Now you can just see here, I'm going to add the sentiment to the bottom area. So I'm going to get that adhered down again, just with my liquid adhesive and just kind of painstakingly making sure that I have that in the right spot. <clears throat> and now I'm going to add the word hello, or I'm sorry, happy <laughs> above birthday. So the sentiment is going to be happy birthday. So I'll just find the best spot for that, which is just kind of in this area here. And I have popped that up on a little bit of foam adhesive as well so that that has a little bit of dimension too. And now I'm just gonna take another one of the little florals and add that to the lower area there as well. This is a little bit of Wink of Stella, which is a clear sparkle pen, just to add a little bit of sparkle and shine to my project here. So you can just see I'm adding that to the mouse and the florals. I'll also add a little bit of white gel pen here and there as well, just to add some little details, some little dots and lines. And I just think that that adds just some nice um, extra little bit of interest to the project, just a little bit of highlight here and there. You can just see the different spots. I'm choosing to add that to the flowers and the mice or the mouse. And I'm taking my black glaze pen now and I'm adding a little bit of black glaze to the mouse's eyes and to the nose. And now I'm going to use some gems on my project as well. This is the modern spring gem stickers. And I'm just going to use my uh, blade here just to help me add those to the center of every one of the flowers. And this color is kind of like, a, it is almost sort of like a little bit of a peachy color. It's really pretty. It coordinates really nicely with the colors that are in the card and it's just soft. It doesn't, it's not sort of like um, too bold, which is nice because the color palette for this card is just really soft. So I really like how that's looking. I did want to finish off the inside of my card today. I did choose a sentiment for the inside from the Inside Birthday Stamp and Coordinating Die Set. This is just a really awesome set for using tons of different types of sentiments for the inside of a card. There is a coordinating die set as well if you would like and it just works really well for finishing off a birthday card. Thanks so much friends. I did link up to all of the products I used today in the description box below so make sure you check that out. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.